Hi everybody and welcome to another Lightburn tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at machine origin, job origin, and some of the settings within Lightburn that have come up lately on the support forums um, and generally carry a little bit of a misunderstanding about how they work. So Lightburn has given us some very powerful tools here and we're going to kind of go through them from how you set up your machine to how you set up your job. So let's start out with one of the more common uh, misconceptions, and that is machine origin. So one of the questions we get regularly on the support groups is, why does my gantry seem to move backwards? Why does my laser go backwards from what I see on the screen? And nine times out of ten, it's not going to be wiring. It's going to come down to uh, your machine origin when you set up your device. So let's take a look as we go through a device setup and USB, we set our bed size. So we come to a screen that asks, what is the origin of your laser? So in this case, it actually states, what is X0, Y0? X0, Y0 is the center of the Cartesian scale. It's where X and Y meet as they, as they cross. And nine, you know, almost every machine that I've ever seen, um, 90 some odd percent of machines, that is gonna be your front left of your bed. So machine origin is typically always going to be down here front left and you'll see this little red square and that shows where I've got my current machine origin configured. What a lot of people seem to do is mistake this with the homing location of your machine. So once you go through and save this it'll set that little red dot. So the homing location of your machine may not be zero zero. Um, for example most of the uh, China based lasers, the blue box K40s and similar <clears throat> they're going to typically home off to the left rear um, of your machine. So you're going to end up with a homing position of 0, 0,200 or 0, 0,230 or wherever your machine maxes out at for your switches. <clears throat> so what a lot of people will do is they'll set their origin to where they feel that that home location is because that's where maybe the stock nano board, <coughs> excuse me, the stock nano board or the stock controller and the stock software Corel laser or whatever, everything seemed to always index off of that top left. Um, so what that does effectively, and if you'll see I've got this blue line on the screen, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my machine origin bottom left where it's supposed to be, and we're going to take a quick look at, I'm going to actually, um, okay I've got that set to output. So I've got my laser off and I've got a camera set up on my machine. So what I'm actually going to do is let's take a look at that and I'm going to click start and you'll see that it runs that blue line right where I have it shown on the screen. So if we come back to light burn, <clears throat> you'll see it's kind of what you see is what you get right up there because we're on absolute coordinates and we'll get to that in a little bit what absolute coordinates means. Um, for my job uh, start position, but for now just know that what I have on the screen is what I see or what the laser is going to do. So let's go ahead and set it incorrectly. So I'm going to go to device settings and I'm going to change my origin to top left here where a lot of people seem to set that because that's the homing location. And when I hit OK you're going to see that it actually inverts my grid on the screen. It moves my red box, my machine origin up to top left but what it did is it actually took the image I already had on the screen and moved it down here. So it's essentially as if I were to take this on a piece of paper and flip it over. <clears throat> and that's what, I've, what, that's what I end up with. So what you're going to notice is if I were drawing on the screen and I were creating, <clears throat> in this case, a blue line, and I expect it to burn in this lower left corner of the machine, in reality what's going to happen, and let's go back to the video and I'm going to click start it burns up top. <clears throat> so a lot of people look at this and say, hey, my laser's moving backwards. <clears throat> Why is my laser moving backwards from what I see on the screen? So that's probably why. You're probably set to the wrong origin. And the same thing would happen if I set my origin to, let's say, back right. It actually inverts my image as if I flipped the paper over and then rotated it 180 degrees. <clears throat> so again, picture that as a sheet of paper. So if I click start now, 
not only is it going to appear to be backwards on my Y, but it's actually going to appear to be backwards on my X because it's going to work from the left side of the machine. So let's take a quick look at that. So same thing. It burns in the exact same location as it did every other time. The only difference is it looks backwards on the screen. So if I'm doing my artwork and I'm drawing my artwork on the screen, it's going to basically be backwards from what I, what I think it's going to do when I actually click that start button. All right, so let's set it back to where it belongs. When in doubt, go lower left. <clears throat> lower left is going to be right almost all the time. So that takes care of your machine origin and hopefully clears up some of that confusion. So now let's take a look at um, my job origin and my start from location. So my job origin, and let's get rid of, the, we're going to get rid of this one. Actually, let's get rid of this whole, um, let's get rid of this whole line here. And we're going to go take a look at Circle Diamond Square here. So Circle Diamond Square. Um, currently, you can see Start From is set to Absolute Coordinates. And if I take a look at my settings, job origin, I'm lower left. So what you end up with, and it's kind of hard to see here. Let me see if I can actually um, zoom in a little bit. So what you end up with there is you see a red square and a green square. The green square is your job origin, the red square is your machine origin. So right now they're the same because we're set to absolute coordinates and we're set to job origin of um, lower left. So this basically gives me what I see on the screen is where my job is going to take place. So in this case, circle diamond squares up in the top left. And actually, let's let's simplify this a little bit because I want to show you um, some test burns. Um, and we'll just do the square for now. So my square is in the upper left, and when I click start on the machine, uh, start on my job, you'll see it's going to run the job in the upper left, just as I would expect it to do. So what I want to do, and let's actually make this a little smaller just so that it um, goes a little faster. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to move it down to lower left. And just as you would expect, when I click start, my head's going to travel to lower left. And it's going to attempt to burn the job down there. And then return to home. So it, it literally is pretty much what you see is what you get. If I put it center of the screen, it's going to go burn in the center. If I put it up top side, hey, wherever I put it on the screen, that's where the head's going to travel. So if I put it off over here, the head's going to come over here and burn my job. So you just have to be you know, careful in that case wh how you set up your job or maybe have a template or a jig on your bed that you can set, you know, set it in a known location. Um, or maybe you're working with an oversized piece and I just want to throw it on the bed, burn this out, and I'm going to cut it out to a, a final size, and I really don't care about what goes on on the rest of my material. So absolute coordinates will give you that. So next up, let's take a look at, we're going to change from absolute coordinates to current position. That's the next one in line. So current position is pretty straightforward. And you'll see that the green square tightened up onto my, my square on the screen here. Let's zoom in a little bit. At this point, um, it is irrelevant, completely irrelevant where this image is on your screen. I could have this image out here, I could have this image over here, it doesn't matter. It, it, it's completely irrelevant, it has no bearing on what you see in the background. So let me go ahead and zoom in just so we kind of reinforce that. Right now green square is lower left because I have that job origin set to lower left. If I set it to center, for example, it's going to jump to the center of my image. Now, something to take note of is this will jump to the center of the entire image that encompasses my job. So if I draw a circle out here, this green dot is going to jump over here because this is the center of, from my extreme here to my extreme here, it's the center of top to bottom. So it's the center of the entire job, not just a given layer um, or a given portion of the drawing. So let's go back to just my square. So at this point, current position is very straightforward. I will jog my laser over. I will 
manually move it, whatever I do, I can I can jog it, I can manually move it, whatever I do to get my position so that my targeting laser is on the center of my workpiece. So let's say you have a phone case or a coaster or a cutting board or something along those lines and you ha are able to go through and put a little reference dot on the center of your workpiece so that you have a known location. So what you do then is you would line your targeting laser up with that and when you click start it's going to start from the current position of that laser. So for the sake of let me let me take my laser and I'm just gonna jog it over here just so I have and let's take a look at where that's at. So that gave me just a position here. Again that's irrelevant on the screen. I could um, for argument's sake let's put it down here. Okay. So you'll see that my laser head is positioned sort of lower left quadrant of the bed. Um, and I'm going to actually take... Ah, sorry. Let me make sure that my machine... Yeah, I jogged it. Alright, so I'm positioned lower left quadrant of the bed there. And then let me go back to light burn and I'm going to take this image just for argument's sake and move it off over here somewhere. Just to kind of prove that point. So, right now, you'll see my targeting laser, lower left quadrant, and when I click play, or when I click start, <clears throat> it's going to draw my square right there where the laser was. So it started at the very center of the square, and it moved out and it drew my laser. Or, I'm sorry, it drew my square. So now, just to kind of reinforce the relationship here, I'm going to throw this out here again and leave it there and I'm gonna go back to my machine camera here click start it's gonna burn it in the exact same location it did previously so job origin um, or I'm sorry current position is more concerned with the uh, inf or the um, the shapes the image that you're drawing or or engraving or whatever and less about the relative position on the screen um, when you're looking at light burn so that's pretty straightforward. Let's go back to light burn here. Um, your edit settings, job origin. Um, you know, let's say I set it top left. Then I would set my targeting laser at the top left of the workpiece. So if I'm dealing with a phone case or something like that, I might draw myself a construction layer here that outlines the shape of the phone case. And let's say I don't want to actually burn this. Um, I would turn, I would set this layer to output no, and let's just say I want to burn, you know, a fancy little circle. And so that one's on a separate layer because I've got my coloring separate, and I don't want to output the phone case. But you'll notice that my origin still is up here. So I can set, I can line this up on the top left of my phone case, and when it goes to burn my circle, it's going to start from there come down, set my circle, and return off um, just as we would expect. And then return back to the job origin. So that is current position. Um, just because I was getting a little close to just getting a little bit close to the limits there. Let me actually jog my laser now that we kind of understand um, that there's no relationship here. So that's job origin. Now let's take a look at user origin. That's next up, um, or current position. Let's take a look at user origin as next up in the start from. So user origin is current position with a memory. So what I would do is let's say I have a an indexable spot where I can place the same phone case in the same place every time on the machine um, and this is pardon me this is really bothering me I want to center this okay um, and I want to place this in an indexable location on my bed every time and I want to be able to swap pieces between jobs so if I've got let's say it's coasters for example and I want to take one out put another one in and run through an entire batch of these things or even my phone cases or whatever and run through a batch of these things and know that I don't have to set up my laser between each job I can use user origin so user origin I would do the same as I did for um, current position I would jog my laser head until my targeting laser is in the spot that I want it so in this case I'm top left 
and then I would come over here to my move uh, toolbox and I would click set origin so set origin now says okay I remember that location so what I can do now is I can actually home my machine so if I send my machine home and now my gantry and my laser head are out of the way so I can swap out my workpiece uh, and not have all of that in my way so now if we take a look at this we've set our origin we set our origin to the green dot I'm now machine homed so what I want to do is when I go to hit play I would expect that the laser is going to return here and then it's going to go to do my job so let me get back to my machine camera goes back to my origin burns my circle and then it's going to return to my finish position which in my case I've got set to the home location um, and you can do that as well on the uh, on the move tab you can jog your laser head wherever you want it and click set finish position finish position and as long as you're not in the current position start from it'll return to that so if you're in user origin or if you're in absolute coordinates it will return to that set finish position um, if you noticed when we were on current position it actually returned when the job was done it returned back to that job origin so just something to keep in mind there so again user origin is essentially current position with a memory so I can put something in set up my job once run it let my laser head return off to home swap out the workpiece click run it'll return right back to where I expect it to so hopefully that gives you a good understanding of uh, the different origins um, and maybe your job origin location and your start from location and clears up some of the confusion around machine origin so um, you know if you have any questions definitely post them in the comments below and I'll do my best to respond um, more you'll probably get better results if you jump over to the Facebook Lightburn software support group um, great group of guys over there uh, the Lightburn developer is a regular and he responds usually pretty quickly and if he doesn't you'll probably get responses from uh, a bunch of us that have been working on Lightburn since the since the early betas um, and just generally a good group of, of guys with a good understanding of, of what's going on within the software. Um, also some light machine questions. Um, I would limit your questions kind of more to the software side of things, but you know, there's, you've got a captive audience, so I, you know, if you've got a basic machine question, throw it out there. If worst that can happen is they tell you to go to a different group. So anyway, um, I think that covers everything that I wanted to talk about today. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click like, and I will do my best to keep up with some of these tutorials and get some information out there um, to address some of these uh, common questions and just generally how to use the software. I uh, appreciate it. Thank you, everybody.